Hey guys, I'm Brian. I'm at Northwest and it's a crappy day, 600 foot overcast, so of course only the RV pilots are flying today. Uh, I'm not gonna fly. Since I can't fly, or choose not to, I want to talk a little bit about uh, avionics. So aircraft avionics are insanely expensive. I know you're thinking, what? Are we talking about the same thing? I am. I'm talking about all those little gadgets and displays in the panel of your aircraft that keep you safe in flight. So the good news is companies like Dynon have done amazing things and done the work and paperwork and everything needed to get these avionics uh, available for our certified aircraft and it's brought the prices way down. That's the good news. The other thing it's done is created a whole lot of competition in this sort of experimental certified avionics market. You have a lot of companies that are trying to tap into the market and so avionic prices are coming down. One other thing it's done is it's created a knockoff market. If you spend as much time surfing the dark web as I do, you know there's a huge underground market for these avionics at much lower prices and they're probably just as safe. All right, I picked something up and I want to show it to you. So uh, let's hop in the old grum grum. I'll show you my panel. So like I mentioned before, it's a company called Dynon that does all these uh, avionics. The thing I purchased today comes from a company called Brynon and they're sort of an underground avionics manufacturer and um, anyway doesn't matter but they're super cheap if you're okay with the shipping because they do come from China um, but let me just show you on my panel what we're talking about here so like I was saying the instruments they fit right into your existing panel you don't have to change much I got my radios and everything like I normally have and then right here is the actual unit itself this is called the Brynon uh, all-in-one and so the instructions said to pull out the airspeed indicator and put this in its place. I think that's what they said. They were in Chinese. This could very well be a toaster. Uh, but anyway, let me uh, fire it up and we'll uh, go through some of its uh, different functions. All right, so here we are in flight and you can see I've got it set to uh, attitude indicator and I like to have both of these so I can uh, compare them to one another. Now this looks super low definition but that's actually it's the opposite. This is so high definition that my camera doesn't know what to do and so it, uh, it just gives up. Um, it does have a database and some other software that you have to update and you can just get that stuff um, at the Pirate Bay online software store. That's where I get all of my software for this. Um, it does other functions. I can turn this dial a bit and there's my, uh, my fuel flow indicator. And uh, if I turn this knob some more, I can go to a, a different screen here and I can see the, uh, I don't know what that's doing. Uh, this is pretty typical. Hey, I think I just saw a woman's breast. Let me uh, see if I can dial that. Maybe this other knob over here will uh, do that. Like. Hold on, I gotta get that back. No, no, what's this one? Newton side? No, 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 that's not good. That was... Hey guys, I'm Brian. Oh, well, this one looks like it might be pretty good. Crappy day, 600 foot over cap. Oh boy. No, 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 that didn't, that happens all the time. It's normal, it's typically, so that's what, it's called an in op. It's a, it's fine, it's a, shut up. It's fine. The other thing that's nice is it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can connect it up to other mobile devices if you have tablets. And I wasn't really supposed to show you this, but I bought it, and it's something that's coming out soon. I kind of know a guy at the company. Um, anyway, I want to show you. It'll actually stream to um, a device that I bought from them. Let me show it to you now. So this is a tablet I bought from the same company. This is called a Brypad, and it's kind of like the iPad, but it's um, a little different but it takes the information that comes off the uh, all-in-one over there and I can put it over here on this tablet and I can use this as my moving map and I can also see all the other things that were um, displayed on that all-in-one so it's really really great the good thing about having all these devices is it allows me to turn all these other gauges off so it looks like I'm not even flying but really I'm cruising at 3500 feet all this stuff that takes battery power I don't need it anymore these things use double A's and so all I have powered on is this and this and so that's why it looks like I'm not even I didn't even have to turn my radios on this it's built into here this has got a Garmin 430 in it so one kind of nice thing about it is it's also got uh, logging in here so you can see I did some really sophisticated air work over here and then I, uh, I entered on a 45 came around and landed so it remembers this for you so if you forget your logbook you can go back and look at other flights Really the only downside I found is in any turbulence you kind of lose everything. All the memory and everything gets wiped out, just sort of disappears. Nothing you can do about that, but uh, that's the price you pay. So if it gets too bumpy, kind of disappears. And that's not good, you don't want that. You hit a bump and suddenly you just lost everything. 
But uh, so as long as you're in smooth air, this is a great item to have, and I highly recommend uh, the Brine Online of Avionics. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to go not fly.